Hey guys, me here, and welcome to the second part of episode 29 of K-Pop Comeback Updates. This is the part where I talk about all the groups that will be coming back. So there are no music videos talked about in this section that came out this past week. If you would like to hear me talk about those music videos, I suggest you click here and go ahead and watch the first part of this video, which I will talk about all the music videos. So first this week, we have BAP. Yeah, again. Wait, it gets better. They revealed on the 17th that they will be coming back soon with their third mini-album, and they will have three title tracks. If you're not counting, like, part one and part two of an album, nobody really promotes two multiple title tracks at the same time. 2PM did it, and all YG artists do it, but not too many other groups try to do that. They try to focus on just one song. CS Entertainment said that BAP met fans all over the world and solidified their standing in K-pop through their BAP Live on Earth Pacific Tour. They'll be releasing their third mini album this summer and have a comeback with three title songs. The first title song will be released on the 28th, which is Daehyun's birthday. And they also said it wasn't an easy decision for BAP to go with three title songs as they've just entered their second year, but they wanted to show a variety of their musical colors throughout this album and we're confident none of their songs will disappoint. Wow. What have BAP done this year? Let's talk about this for a second. We had one shot in February, but they released um, Rain Sound before that, so that was a music video. They also traveled to film one shot. Um, then they went on tour. They've been on tour basically since one shot promotions ended. They were in the United States, they were in other Asian countries, they're in Hong Kong right now, and now they're coming back with three title songs. I mean, I guess they're not the busiest group of this year. There have definitely been busier groups. But, considering they just entered their second year, that's... oh my god. And they're supposed to debut in Japan later this year. So they released a couple of teaser photos this week, I will show you those teaser photos. They also released um, a teaser video that was shot in the States, the United States, uh, in LA, San Francisco, Washington DC, New York, and more basically them like really really far away from the camera walking around the places I just mentioned like New York, Washington DC, there's also a lot of shots of like the cities and where they are and just like it's supposed to be really pretty and yeah it's called Coffee Shop. We don't know anything else about the album yet. All we know is that that is coming out on the 28th. I assume there is a music video coming out on the 28th as well as the full song and I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the second title track is going to be. So yeah, um, go ahead and check out the music video teaser if you have not already. Yeah, go ahead and check that out. Link in the description. Teaser right now. Next this week we have Girls Day and they are coming back with their repackaged album and they released a teaser for Female President on the 20th. The teaser is basically the girls dancing sexily behind some shades and seemingly like an office kind of window. There's a short teaser of the song at the end, I think it's Mina who sings that, and it's going to be released on the 24th so there's only a couple days left before that. I like this whole concept so far, I really like the whole female president, probably gonna be a strong, independent woman kind of song, or at least I hope that's what it is. Kind of like uh, Miss A's I Don't Need a Man, the whole same, like, you know, concept type thing. Yeah, so that's all we know about the album. I don't know how many more songs are going to be on this repackaged album. If I figure that out, I will let you know. I will be talking about the music video next week. Go ahead and check out the teaser right now. Link in the description, teaser right now. Next we have Verbal Gent and he released a teaser video for Walking in the Rain on the 21st. The teaser shows him dancing and standing in the rain, which is really really cool. I just love the whole rain and music videos and like the fact that he like dances in the rain and there's like slow motion and it's like really zoomed into his legs and it's really really cool. This teaser also features Poppin Hyunjun. It's unsure whether this is a mini album or a full album or just digital release. I'm just happy Verbal Jint is getting his own song now after featuring in everybody else's songs for the past six, seven months. That is coming out on the 24th as well, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I assume 
at this point that it's just a digital release unless I miss something. So yeah, that is coming out on the 24th. I will definitely be talking about the music video next week because I love Verbal Gent. So yeah, go and look forward to that. Next we have Roy Kim and he like totally blew up the charts when he released his debut single but I didn't talk about it because it's not a comeback, it's a debut. But now he's coming back with his first full length album and he released a teaser video for Love 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 on the 20th. When I first listened to the teaser video the first thing I thought was a cell phone commercial because everybody in this music video has their cell phones out and just the whole like audio in the background before he starts singing reminds me of a cell phone commercial. Either way, the video is him walking around uh, with people holding up phones and giant letters that spell out love. This nine track full length album will be released on the 25th of June and as of right now I like the song a lot more than Spring Spring Spring. I never really got into that song. Go ahead and check out this teaser right now. It's really cute. It's kind of a long teaser which I was happy about um because we got to hear a good amount of the song instead of just like one little line like most teasers do. So yeah, go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Link in the description, teaser right now. Oh, love, love. this week we have A Prince again because I talked about them in the music video section because they released a music video this week and I'm also talking about them in the comeback section because they're coming back. They released two video teasers for Mambo this week. The first one consists of member Sungwon thinking on his bed and then dancing in his PJs and I don't really like the dance he does. It's a Mambo dance theme, the whole theme is supposed to be Mambo but I still can't like get myself to like it like it's just I find it weird. New Planet Entertainment announced get ready for Mambo because hashtag A Prince is back. There's hashtags in these teaser videos too, just saying of A Prince is back. Um, first teaser of A Prince's second mini album, release date June 25th, 2013. The second teaser features Sung Jung um, dancing like the same dance that Sung Won was dancing, but he's dancing in the middle of the street and everybody's just walking around him like they don't even know he's there and he's just dancing with headphones and it's better than the dance in their in their My Lady music video. It's still better than the dance in My Lady music video. I did not like the dance at all. Besides that, the song sounds pretty good. I just can't get myself into any of A Prince's choreography apparently. I just which is a big part of K pop for me is the choreography, so yeah. The second mini album will be coming out on the twenty fifth, so go ahead and look forward to that. And if you wanna go check out their music video for My Lady, which has already been released, you can go ahead and do that. Um, there's a link in the description box of the first part of the video under A Prince. So yeah, you can go and check that out as well. Next we have 4Minute and Like the AP, they are coming back again. Um, Cube uploaded a video of member Sohan fishing the other day, which really, really confused a lot of people. There was a rumor about them coming back, but Cube never really said anything. Cube was kind of focusing on Beast for a while, but now Beast is not coming back until July, so 4Minute come back. And they released a teaser photo of Sohan, um, and everyone was like, Oh, okay, come back. Okay, cool. The agency has just announced through a press release that the girls will be returning with the song Like Water, question mark. We're going back to questions in K-pop. The song is sure to cool us down during the heat of the summer. Um, the song is said to be a hip-hop dance track that will allow you to feel the unique style of 4 Minute once again. So stay tuned for its release on the 28th. So I really don't have anything to say about that. Um, I'm interested because it says it's a hip-hop track. So I don't know if it's going to be like, what's your name, or if it's going to be like, a hip-hop song, like a real hip-hop song, with Sohyun fishing. Like, I'm just kind of confused about this whole concept right now. But that's still really exciting, so go and look forward to that. <laughs> That's it for this week's episode of K-Pop Comeback Updates, episode 29. If you want to go watch me talk about the music videos that came out this week, go ahead and click here and you can go do that. 
Um, my question for this week, I actually thought of it while I was talking about four minutes. How many times do you think a group should come back during the year? Because we have multiple comebacks from four minute and BAP now, but you know, everything is better than what BAP did last year and what Infinite did their first year of debut, like just crazy stuff. Last year, BAP released three single albums, a mini album and a repack of the mini album. Um, along with like photo books and stuff and this year they've done too many albums so far so it's better I feel like um, if you come back in January like SNC has a come had a comeback in January they had it on January 1st this year I wouldn't be surprised if they came back later this year I mean SM has other plans they have multiple multiple groups that they want to have come back this year TVXQ and FX still. There's probably gonna be more subgroups, but I feel like if you come back in January, February, or March, you can come back in like October and be okay. Like unless you've been in Japan for all of the time in between that, then we have a little problem. But if you're like in Korea just doing whatever, maybe you have a couple of showcases, maybe somebody's doing a drama or something, I feel like that's fine. Like two comebacks a year is okay. If you have more than two comebacks, and one of the comebacks is not like a repack album, or like a second part album like Shiny did, we have a problem here. I feel like one comeback these days, it just doesn't cut it. There's so many groups in K-pop, if you don't come back at least twice, you're gonna be forgotten about. I mean, unless you're like SNSD or TVXQ or Super Junior or one of those groups like Big Bang. I mean, even Big Bang has kind of gone down in popularity because they don't come back as often as they used to. So go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And yeah, I will see you guys later this week for unboxings. I have like five unboxing videos right now that I need to do. Like I have three edited and three more to edit, so I have six videos total. Okay, and I have to edit these now too. All right, so those will be out uh, later this week. I'm basically home this week, so there will be more videos. I also want to mention before I go that I'm in love with Bang Tom Boys, so if you haven't heard No More Dream, you should go check it out because I literally have not felt this way about a K-pop group like from their debut since Infinite debuted. Since Infinite debuted three years ago. Um, they probably won't end up taking infinite spot though because like how can you take infinite spot? They're tied with super junior. In my heart at least. Um, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Bye!